Burton is a, a beautiful place. It's, you see four seasons, sometimes in one day. A couple of beautiful things about Burnie is the, the greenness of the hills. Some of the people are just the best people you'd ever want to meet. I don't know that the, this is much different than most other places, but I know that Burnie has a, a real backbone of, of people that want something that we can be proud of. Well, the Burnie Rugby Club started in 1961. At the end of 89, uh, uh, the paper mill closed out and we had a lot of people move out of the area. So when we started in 1990, we couldn't field a team. We couldn't play. So we were six years without a team here. That's a, a lot of pressure on a community. And, and to start up again is unbelievable. Uh, This year we only had a core of 10 players. We didn't care, because all we wanted to do was just play. It doesn't really matter about the wins. It matters that these guys come off the field or come out of the club and they've got somewhere to go. There's lots of challenges that we face keeping rugby in, in Burnie. Some social economic, but you've got to have the volunteer people to, to back it up all the time. I volunteer for Burnie and I enjoy watching new players and young people that develop themselves. I think uh, that's why I volunteer. Every now and then you get this little snippet out of life and on the field that it means so much. And it might be a guy where you've picked him up from the street and he's played his best. You've seen him downtown and he's got a job because the club supported him. The uh, future of the Burnie Rugby Club is in the, the people that we have, the players that we have. The younger people have got to continue on so they can be mentors to other people.